Hi, I'm Wayne Hockmeyer, the originator of the Banjo Minnow, and I'm here today to do an instructional video on the brand new Banjo 006 Minnow. The new Banjo 006 Minnow is much improved from the original Banjo Minnow. It features diamond flash, iridescent holographic foil, and artistic color design. It has strategically placed swim cuts, making it easier to swim and duplicate lifelike action. It has detachable eyes that come in three different colors, black and white, red and black, and holographic eyes. Best of all, these eyes come in two different weights. There are heavy eyes for fishing in deep water or on the bottom as a jig, and light plastic swimming eyes for fishing near the surface. The new detachable eyes have a stem with an eyelet at the end for attaching the bait to a hook. Choose the color and the weight of the eye you want and simply bend the nose of the minnow and insert the stem into the hole that is molded into the nose of the minnow. Push the stem forward and push the eye itself into the eye socket. The eye fits perfectly into the head of the minnow. Once the eye has been inserted, the eyelet will barely protrude from the nose of the bait. You are now ready to attach the minnow to your hook. Depress the nose of the minnow with your fingertip, exposing the eyelet. Now insert the point of the hook through the eyelet and push until the bob of the hook goes completely through the eyelet. The fish hook is now locked into the bait and will not come off while you are fishing. Directly in front of the eyelet hole is a slit that runs from the eyelet back towards the eyes. You can easily remove the bait from your hook by positioning the bob of the hook directly in line and opposite of this slit. Now push the hook itself into the slit and towards the eyeballs. This will bring the bob into the eyelet and allow you to now detach the hook by slipping the bob through the eyelet. It is no longer necessary to have to cut your line and retie another knot in order to change baits. The Banjo 006 minnow comes in five different sizes. There is a 3-inch minnow, a 4-inch, a 5-inch, and a 7- and 9-inch minnow. The 3, 4, and 5-inch minnows are generally used with a number 8 banjo weedless hook for the 3-inch, a number 4 hook for the 4-inch minnow, and a number 1 hook for the 5-inch minnow. The 7-inch minnow is usually fished with a heavy-duty number 3-0 hook and the 9-inch minnow with either a 5-0 or 6-0 hook. You are not, however, restricted to using one size hook for each size minnow. It is possible to use a number 1 hook on a 3-inch minnow and a number 8 hook on a 5-inch minnow. I personally use the one number 1 hook on the 3, 4, and 5 inch minnow when I am fishing around vegetation or heavy cover and using the banjo weed guard. I will now show you how to attach a weed guard to a banjo weedless hook. Place the hook in one hand and hold the weed guard in the opposite hand. Place the weed guard over the eyelet of the hook and then pull the weed guard into the eyelet. When you relax the weed guard, it expands and will not slip back out of the eyelet. Now pull on the weed guard and insert your index finger into the center of the weed guard. Now insert your middle finger into the center of the weed guard and separate your two fingers. Pull the weed guard up and behind the bob of the hook and release. The hook is now weedless. When a fish grabs the bait, it will depress the weed guard, exposing the hook point. When the fish turns and pulls the line tight, you will hook the fish. If you are fishing in open water, do not use the weed guard. It is not necessary. Never store the weed guards in direct sunlight as they will dry out. Banjo minnow can also be rigged with our El Cinco hooks. These hooks have a very short shank and are meant to be hooked at the bottom side of the bait, directly behind the front pectoral fin. The El Cinco hook is heavy and will sink fast. The hook is designed to move the bait sideways and create a very spastic swimming action. 
Now that you know how to rig and use the various items that come in the Banjo 006 Minnow kits, it is time to go to the water and demonstrate the various retrieves and techniques that are used to fish the Banjo 006 Minnow. The first retrieve that I would like to demonstrate is the stop and go retrieve. It is a very simple retrieve to use and very effective. Now this is how you do the retrieve. You make quick, short jerks, very quick, very short, about a second apart. The lure will go left to right almost on every jerk. After every jerk, you return the rod tip back towards the bait, creating slack. You reel up the slack. You do never pull the minnow. You never reel the minnow. You just keep the jerk going going, going, reel up the slack. If the fish won't bite, you really put a lot of paws between the jerks, let the minnow go down, down, and then jerk again. So if I don't get bit, if I think the fish had really turned off, I put big pauses between my jerks and I keep my jerks very, very short and quick. And then I wait, I let it die, I let it die, and then I jerk. And then I reel up the slack and I let it die and I jerk. Real, real short and quick jerk. Short, real. This changes the direction of the bait, and a bait that changes direction is extremely effective in making fish bite. Now the next method that I would like to demonstrate is the swimming method. The way you make the minnow swim is you cast out and on your jerk, you wiggle the rod tip. Every jerk, you put a wiggle, you wiggle. You wiggle it and it swims. Now, your jerks can be a little bit longer than when the, the jerk can stop. But you really don't ever want to swim the minnow more than three feet. And then you stop the minnow, get up all the slack you've created, and get ready to swim it again. Just about three feet and stop. That's usually when you're going to get hit, when you stop with most species of fish. So you swim it, stop, reel it up, swim it, reel it up, swim it. A very, very effective retrieve to fool fish into absolutely believing that they're seeing a real minnow. Because once that minnow swims, it's identical to what a real fish does. So you wiggle the tip as you jerk. Quick jerks, about three feet. That will swim the minnow, and then it pauses and stops. Usually, that's when you're going to get the bite. At that point, you have slack in your line because you haven't reeled it all the way up. When you get the bite, never strike. You reel, when you reel and you feel pressure on the line, you reel tight and then you pull, not jerk, you pull the hook into the fish's mouth. Only when you feel the weight on the end of the line do you do that. But if you jerk the bait on a strike, you can jerk it right out of his mouth. With this type of hook and the method we're using, you never strike. You feel the weight, you reel it tight, and you pull the hook into the fish's mouth. The fish is going to hook himself. The third retrieve I'd like to do is the spastic action retrieve. And the spastic action retrieve is nothing but a combination of the stop and go retrieve and the swimming retrieve. You alternate between the two. So spastic action retrieve. I swim the minnow and then I stop and I do a couple of jerks. 
and then I swim the minnow, and I let it die. I let it die. I give it a jerk. I let it, I start to swim it again. I jerk it, jerk it, jerk it, swim it again. Jerk it, let it die. I let it die. I let it go down, and then I swim it. This mimics an injured minnow. It looks exactly like a hurt minnow would look, trying to get away, trying to right itself. It doesn't, it is crippled and it's distressed. And it has no regular action to it. It does all sorts of things. It goes in different directions. It's, it, it flutters, it jerks, it dies. It imitates life. I use it all the time because I give the, the look of the minnow does about everything that will provoke a fish to bite. If the fish aren't biting, I just slow it down. I let it die a lot and I put my jerk and stop in there and I put the swimming, but I space them. I letting that minnow die, go down, go down. All of a sudden I jerk it once and then I swim it and I let it die again. And I let it go right down and I give it two jerks. And then I'm going to let it die and now I'm going to swim it and swim it. And then I let it die again. And eventually I will slow it right down where it goes to bottom. And then I just twitch it and twitch it and twitch it. Very effective way to get a, a fish that doesn't want to bite to bite. The last retrieve I'd like to do is the moving or fleeing retrieve. It is, there are some species of fish, such as bluefish, uh, jack creval, peacock bass. They simply do not like a stop bait. They don't want a dead bait. They want a bait that is constantly moving or trying to get away or struggling. Uh, and you've got to keep the minnow moving. And what I'm going to do right now is demonstrate how you do this retrieve. It's difficult, but actually easier to do than it looks. Fling minnow retrieve. Keep the rod tip very high. Keep, and I make little short jerks. And I reel at the same time, and I'm, but I'm not pulling the minnow. I'm just flicking it along the surface, keeping it on top, reeling, reeling, taking up slack, always creating slack in the line so a fish hits, he can inhale it. There is always some slack in the line. And I, I achieved that by keeping the rod tip so high that the line is flopping in the air. Now, if somebody watches me, they don't think I know how to fish. They go, what is he doing? He doesn't have a tight line. Well, I don't want it. I, because half of my jerk is just taking up half of the slack, and I'm just putting it back on the reel, but I'm always keeping loose line in the air. So when the strike comes, the fish can take, grab the bait and get it all in his mouth and dive with it. And that is the key to fishing for a species of fish that just does not want a dead bait or a still bait. And most fish do want it stopped. When you're fishing for bass, 90% of your strikes will come on the stop, 90%. When you're fishing for peacock, they will just ignore it. They'll come out for the bait when it swims, and when you stop, they'll just turn and go away. And when I fish for peacock bass, I've been on the Amazon, I always use the fleeing top water retrieve and that high rod tip. The Banjo 006 minnow is the only fishing lure in the world that was ever created to have its movement totally controlled by the angler. The movement of the minnow is all in your hands and you will be amazed at how easy it is to create perfect lifelike movement duplicating a real live minnow. When you do that, you will be able to catch fish when no one else can. 
The Banjo 006 Minnow truly is a license to catch. And when you catch the big one, write me a letter at wayne at banjominnow.com and tell me about it. Good luck and good fishing. Thank you.